one thing about alcohol, it will make me very sleepy. <laughs> Greetings from me and my dry, dry hair. One thing about winter, one thing about winter, it will show you flames, especially if you have natural hair. So today is wash day and I need to wash my hair. Um, afterwards, I need to go and get a massage. So let's see how quickly I can actually get to this um, this is currently how my hair looks it's quite yeah it's quite dry so just for context I wash my hair once a week I don't even play around <clears throat> um, I no longer wait too long to wash my hair because all these years I've learned what works for my hair and washing my hair once a week makes all the difference in fact the wash stage is where the moisturization of your hair actually begins so if you are someone that suffers from dryness quite a lot and especially like five days after you've washed your hair just know where it begins that that's that's what happens to me um yeah so i always make sure that after five days or at least once a week i wash my hair because that's when i know that things are not looking good anymore so yeah, so I'm going to wash my hair and then get to it. And sorry for not greeting you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Um, yeah, this is mostly wash day vibes, massage vibes, and whatever else I can fit in um, from what has been happening lately. Yeah. Yo, yes, yes. In the night, camera, Guys, so I just quickly wanted to put you on. I'm in the bathroom, so excuse the echo. If there is one, there probably is. I should have used my mic, but that's going to take a while. Anyway, I wanted to put you... I hope I am focused. But I wanted to put you on my current favorite products. These are like the OGs for me. I've been using this brand even while I had relaxed hair. And this is years ago and these still work like a charm so um i'll start off with this it's alvid l'oreal essentially so this i'll start off with this um i hope it's clear but i've been this is the Ex alvid extraordinary oil um and it's yeah the nourishing shampoo precious oils flower oils whatever but i wanted to say now i know for the longest of time Okay, let me change and use my other. So I know for the longest of time now, um, especially within the natural hair community, we were against shampooing your hair. It was this whole thing of um, it's stripping, um, it dries your hair and all of those things. And instead, you should be co-washing, yada, yada, yada. You know what? Um, I am a reformed person. Um, thanks to a lot of experts out there who have shown me the light Shampoos are really good for your hair. They are important for your hair. Um, I shampoo once a week It just depends on the shampoo that you use. I do find there are some shampoos that are quite drying But this for me, yo, the lighting has just ooh. What am I here? Okay Okay, this is a bit better. I look orange yo guys i'm sorry the sun is just doing its own thing you know mother nature can't control her but yeah so this is just honestly the best it does not leave your hair feeling stripped it makes your hair um it does what it needs to do firstly it moisturizes by moisturizer just mean when you wash your hair once a week um, and you clean it from whatever oils and, and all the gunk that might be on your hair your hair breathes again so for me, I really, really love using this shampoo for my hair. Um, it does not feel like my hair has been stripped at all. In fact, my hair feels nourished. It feels quite soft. And then I follow up with this baby over here. I hope it's clear. It should be, but it's, yeah, again, Aviv Extraordinary Oil range. 
which is your nourishing conditioner and this has been amazing for my hair and another thing that i learned in the past couple of years is that you don't you don't have to use um treatment conditioners all the time like any medication um, if your hair is going through something, you will obviously use something to combat whatever your hair is going through. So for me, with conditioners, I just use a normal conditioner because my hair is fine. There's nothing drastic or, um, yeah, nothing drastic is happening to my hair. So I don't need to use a specialized conditioner. I just use a nourishing conditioner. And that for me has been working really well. Um, and in general, this conditioner is really nourishing it's really moisturizing your hair feels very soft and that's what i'm gonna use because i've been waffling for some time oh guys the lighting is terrible but you got my point cool That is not dry yet guys so I am not a fan of high buns because I feel like they're very mediocre and natural hair is very versatile I feel like we can explore but today is just one of those days where I'm like I really don't feel like doing anything to my hair either than just something quick um, yeah so there's that but anyway so today I is is a monday um what's the name to, um i am going to redeem a voucher <laughs> that i've had for close to a year so last year sometime i got a voucher for like a nice massage 60 minute massage um with what i think it's mangwanani spa yeah and i'm going to redeem it because it actually expires on which is this coming friday um yeah so the closest mangwanani from me is the one at the pivot hotel at monte casino so i am headed there i'm actually quite excited because i haven't had a massage in a while and a girl needs it a girl needs it right now so i'm headed to a massage uh, my hair needs to get dry what's hey guys what's my hair just needs to get dry um i don't know what's going on here but the weather is quite gloomy today um and yeah i guess winter is slowly creeping in because it's currently autumn um i don't like winter but i love autumn i really really like autumn but anyway let's get to let's go to the spa bye skin is skinning as always Sun did i put sunscreen on today i haven't oh in the bathroom quickly just to put sunscreen on um 
yeah very weird that i nearly forgot sunscreen i have been consistently putting sunscreen on my face for the past probably five years now like consistently so there are those days where i do forget like you know once or twice in a month but uh, generally i put on sunscreen every single day irrespective of the weather cold hot snow rain i'm putting on sunscreen irrespective of the seasons as well this is currently my favorite sunscreen um i do have a couple of sunscreens Demerpal, um Nagoloe 2 this iq one um which other one do i have i have this other clicks one that's a spray on that i love um for my body especially on hot days if i'm going to be you know exposed to the elements and whatnot but this is the one i'm currently using love it a rot, a rot. that instant glow just clocked in and guys when it comes to sunscreen a little does not go a long way use the two finger method um and you're good guys one thing about me i will listen to ukozi fm but anyway that's not what i wanted to talk about guys so i have these glasses the ones i'm wearing the ones that happen to be skew these are prescribed i have no idea what happened to them how they got skew which breaks my heart because these are prescribed <laughs> Body is hmm, bodying. So I'm quickly going to Linden, I'm meeting a friend of mine. We're going for brunch. Um, sheesh, don't mind the mess at the back. Um, yeah, I'm in a rush. But yeah, a girl is going green today. So I also have green nails. Hate them, but I've decided I'm gonna wear green stuff until i redo them i don't like them i just i just don't like them <laughs> but anyway just thought i'd do a quick check um for me it's not that cold oh my little pooch it's not that cold so yeah and my legs them quads have been doing the most just in case it's, it gets a bit cold i will wear this um green trench got it from mango really like it but yeah, let's go before I get late. As a shabana ingubo, yami, awema. Thank you, low chilling. Good morning. Thank you so much for calling Volvo. You are speaking to Anele. How can I help you? Hi, Anele. How are you? I'm very good. Thank you. How are you? I'm good. Um, could you please help me to find a uh, direction to Fat Zebra in Linden? I'm struggling to find it myself. It's Fat Zebra. Fat Zebra. F A T. Oh, okay. Fat Zebra. Let's see. All right. There you go. 100%. Okay, I got it. That puts you about 13 kilometers away. And I'm sending it to you right now. Okay. All right. Uh, let me know as soon as you do, do receive it. Eh? I've got it. Thank you so it's much. It's on 7th Street in London. Yeah. No, You're welcome. Try to say thank you. Thank you. Have a lovely day. Bye. Yeah. So I'm going to Fat Zebra in London as you heard and i was struggling to find it on this gps thing but the nice thing i love about volvo is that you can call them for free it's embedded on the car anyway um so 
yeah i'm meeting a friend um there who is here well she's been here for the week but she's going back to cape town a few at about four what car is that so weird um traffic is mad slow because load shedding and that man's country you know it's a bit ghetto from time to time so i'm excited to see my friend and yeah let's find this place I don't so thanks to load shedding i couldn't make myself a quick smoothie this is the only thing i could find that I, that I was like you know what i can munch on this because i just finished a gym session and after every gym session i always have to eat always something at least a smoothie or something if it is a protein shake it has to be <clears throat> um plant-based yeah plant-based because i do not like these other protein shapes they have in the markets they just you know the last time i had a protein shake was years ago and they used to make me feel very <clears throat> they used to make me feel very bloated and i don't, don't like them anymore so yeah but i grabbed on this snack i hope the food at fat zebra is going to be nice because yeah i need something like you know something protein filled um delicious yeah we'll see how it is someone recommended fat zebra and that's why i wanted to try it out an all-time banger by heavy k and Bumi. you already know though this one is titled when nah? like such an african subject i create new hukon but yeah it seems like that type of vibe and i actually didn't realize i know this place so i've been to gucho gaucho whatever however you pronounce it i'm wearing my glasses i was supposed to wear my contact lenses but i was like i'm gonna take forever so let me just because i'm still new in the contact lens space let me just but anyway, yeah, so I've been to Gucho Gaucho and that zebra is right next door. Anyway, let me go. anyway um yeah it was really great we hadn't really been uh, we hadn't seen each other in a year so it was really great to connect um yeah so i just dropped her off at how train sense city and then now i'm taking my car to get washed my car is not looking great it's just filthy um according to my standards anyway it's very very it's it's just very dirty so I'm taking it. I'm very sleepy though because I had like two mimosas and one thing about alcohol. 
how it will make me very sleepy so um yeah so i'm um, but i need to take my car to get washed and the thing is the car wash i am taking it to which is something i enjoy and i like they are very thorough they take forever so that means i am going to be there for at least an hour unless there are no other cars which is usually unlikely so i'm gonna take my car there and i'm gonna ha just have to wait because the girl has not been washed in at least three weeks yeah i try to make sure that my car is washed every two weeks um if i don't take it to the car wash i will wash it myself and i'm very good at washing my car like i'm very very thorough so yeah anyway i am headed there i'll probably be there in the next three minutes or so also guys one thing i love about these shades they are prescribed so i have i think three pairs that are prescribed and then i have a couple of pairs that are not prescribed and generally if i'm wearing a pair that is not prescribed i obviously have to wear my contact lenses or if it's like during the day like now i can actually wear them without really worrying too much about them being prescribed or not because i can see quite okay during the day it's just that at night i can't see jack like Okay, the sunset is looking beautiful. It's been a long day. No, that is gorgeous. Alright, a girl needs to go home.